Any decimal that has only a finite number of non-zero digits is a terminating decimal. If r and s are positive integers, and the ratio r over s is expressed as a decimal, is r over s a terminating decimal? Well, in this problem, they're kind enough to tell you what a terminating decimal is and give you a couple examples, but really you need to understand the theory of terminating decimals before you can answer the question. So if we have a fraction r over s, what makes it a terminating decimal? Well, if the denominator, we look at the denominator and the only prime factors are twos and fives. And it doesn't matter, we could have as many twos and as many fives as we want, but we have no prime factors other than two or five, then yes, the decimal terminates. Otherwise, no. Any other prime factors other than two and five, you get a non-terminating decimal, decimal that goes on forever. For example, one over three, that's a decimal that goes on forever. It's three repeating forever, a non-terminating decimal. So the whole question about whether decimal is terminating or not boils down to whether there are only the only prime factors in the denominator are made up of twos and fives. The numerator doesn't enter into it at all. So now we go to statement. Statement number one tells us that the numerator is greater than 90 and less than 100. Well, that's absolutely useless. That tells us absolutely nothing. So statement number one by itself is insufficient. Now statement number two tells us s equals four. Well, of course, four is a number whose prime factors are two times two. The only prime factors that appear in four are two. And so that means that if we have a four in the denominator, we only have factors of two or five in the denominator. And so it means that any numerator divided by four will in fact be a terminating decimal. So this statement by itself is sufficient. Statement number one is insufficient. Statement number two is sufficient. Answer choice B.